And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, Mo Salah knows how to light up any game, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. Well, he's their leading goal scorer, mainly because of his movement, which is so clever. It's full of pace and it always threatens the back of defenders. And, of course, he's a great finisher. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here. And Manchester City get the ball rolling. And he could really get at the opposition. Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Matip. And this is Diogo Jota now. This is Thiago. Oh, surely! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. De Bruyne. Sterling. De Bruyne waiting. Henderson. I must say, this looks promising. No chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Threat over for now, it seems. Pressing high to win the ball. Henderson. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And there's the delivery. No, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. And City being afforded too much room. Oh, the threat is there. Free kick awarded to Liverpool.
Fabinho. Henderson. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Fabinho. And he takes on the shot. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Firing it towards goal! Oh, so close to extending their lead. Well, that really would have put them in a commanding position, but it's still all to play for here. Well, those stats don't lie. Liverpool haven't controlled the ball, but when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Given away by City. Fabinho. Here is Thiago. Not a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Making sure it didn't get past him. Foul there, free kick awarded. <laughs> to extend the lead here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And now the delivery. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, only just wide of the post. And getting close to half-time with Liverpool in front here. Stuart, what strikes you about what you've seen from them in the first half? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Matip. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Diogo Jota. It's with Fabinho. Thiago. He's done well to get forward. Thiago. That is that for the first half here. Well, Diogo Jota heavily involved in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back in business, the second half underway. It's Liverpool in front, but far from being done and dusted. Henderson. It's with Fabinho. Virgil van Dijk. Matip. Henderson has it. Fabinho. No problems for the keeper. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come.
And Mohamed Salah now. That's well blocked. Henderson, terrific block. Brilliant piece of skill. Ruben Diaz. It's with Laporte. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Henderson. Now Mane. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Sterling. Now can they counter clinically? They need to get bodies back. And teammates to play it to. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Henderson. Henderson, but nothing comes of it. Good pressure high up the pitch. Henderson, he read the situation defensively and did his job. Rodri. De Bruyne. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Walker. Now, when you take the throw in, you're not then supposed to get caught offside. Well, that's ridiculous. That should never happen. Number six, Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle, but not quite yet. Can Liverpool preserve the win? Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Fabinho. Well, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that would have been game over. Not long left now, though. A change in the offing for City. Corner kick played in, and he clears the danger. Oxlade Chamberlain. So to the keeper. Henderson. And room now out on the wing. And the cross into the middle. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Walker. De Bruyne. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Gundogan. Oh, good-looking run. Crossing into the middle. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.
And at the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Diogo Jota. How many times do we say that? The answer is rather a lot. Stuart, what did you make of what he put into the game? Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.